Hey everybody, Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. Getting off to a little late start here on my beach walk. I was busy recording my first look video. You're gonna want to check that out. We'd, we're out checking on some sea turtle tracks that we saw on the beach this morning. I was just kind of sharing what I see first thing when I come out here with my friends. You might want to check that out. Saw seven sets of tracks on the beach this morning down just in the little area that I walked on the beach. I didn't cover all of Vanderbilt Beach or Pelican Bay Beach. It was a busy, busy night for our sea turtles. So right now the air temperature is around 75, 76, kind of humid. Going to get up to around 90 today. 89, 90, 91, maybe even 92. We feel a lot warmer than that throughout the day with the humidity. Water temperature is 86. Still seeing the red drift algae on the beach and in the water. They got a lot of it raked up though, fortunately. Partly cloudy skies, chance of rain. You know how that works later today. Last night, holy cow, did we have the rain here in North Naples. Thunder and lightning right in the middle of the night. Ooh, well, actually, southwest Florida got bombarded. Up to the north of us yesterday, quite a few water spout sightings. I think a tornado. Thank God the tornadoes aren't like they are in the Midwest down here. Glorious morning. Glorious, glorious. Morning. morning. How are you? How are you doing? Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> That's all that matters. We're here. That's all that matters. We're here. That's a good answer. I like that. How are you doing? I'm here. I like that answer. Roy's answer was never better. I like I'm here also. <laughs> Amen. I'm here. We're all here. Amen to that. We're all here. So you can get a rough idea on how many turtle nests we have now on the beach. Good morning, how are you? Enjoy yourself. Oh, thank you. People call it this the show. They say, I enjoy your show. I think that's awesome. I'm a show host. <laughs> Here comes our JD or John Deere. Getting that red drift algae off the beach. Vanderbilt Beach Resort Turtle Club restaurant back there. Not yet, I forgot. As soon as I saw your fishing poles, I thought of it. Charcuterie with Greg. I gotta look that up. Gotta look that up. He's down here on vacation. He's out here fishing. They're staying at the Vanderbilt Beach Resort. One of our little snowy egrets. It's kind of a small one. Hmm. 
So tonight's our boat ride night. I don't know if we got any people signed up to go along with us this evening, our Thursday evening the Sunset Cruise with Boat Naples. Hopefully the weather will hold for that. It looked pretty promising earlier this morning, but Lord knows. Lord knows the weather just turns on a dime here. Is this a newbie here? Is this a newbie? Well, 226. Number 226. Wow. I was thinking, eh, maybe it should be up to 230 by now. We'll go see if this, if this was, this looks kind of fresh. This looks like a fresh one. 226. So there, those numbers are going to get higher if there's any more as we go north, as we continue north. Sinking way down in the sand here. See that red drift, the algae's still in the water here, don't it? Boy, the tropics are getting active. Three systems now. Thank goodness it looks like Brett did not develop as the they thought it was going to turn into a hurricane by today. Now they're thinking it's going to fizzle out. Two more on its heels, though. A tropical depression and depression and a wave behind that. Hey, Beverly. Gulf Point of Naples over there. Someday, well, I hope. Within a year, we'll see that opened up again, cleaned up and opened, and meet some of the people that call that home during the winter months. Nice little breeze. It was actually like 74 degrees when I left the house this morning. It's a lot cooler than it's been lately. Send some stars if you're liking what you're seeing here. If you appreciate my efforts. Morning, Rose. Early, before the sun came up, so I was walking down the beach. I did see flashes of lightning out there, out to the southwest. I did see that it was looked pretty far away. The clouds were lighting up though. Looks like there's probably some rain out there. Hopefully it'll stay away from me this morning.
Thank you for the stars. I appreciate that. Good morning, Anna. set of tracks here doesn't look like it's going to lead to anything here just a false crawl so that'd be gosh what number it's about the sixth false crawl i've seen here we saw one new nest i saw two that had some potential down to the south that was just a turn around there. You know, you see these false crawls. They could very well be the same sea turtle. They could come up and make several attempts before dropping their eggs. I got a feeling that I've been seeing a lot of false crawls this morning. I'd, I'm not an expert, but I'm thinking maybe the, that wicked storm we had last night might have scared them, the lightning and thunder. It was hitting all over the place here in North Naples. Right when the sea turtles would be on the beach, right in the middle of the night. I know I wouldn't want to be out here during that. Definitely would not want to be on the beach. Guess one of these days I would love to find a piece of lightning glass. That would be so cool. I've tried to find it. I've seen lightning hit the beach at Del Nor Wiggins, but I could never find the spot where it hit. That stuff is so cool. If you don't know what it is, just Google lightning glass is wild it just bakes the sand it just turns the sand to glass where the lightning strikes the beach some of it's worth a few shekels if you get a nice piece of it so we saw nest 226 a little bit earlier here I haven't seen our turtle patrol coming back down the beach yet. They're still up to the north of me checking on things. A tractor coming up behind me somewhere. Making a 
another pass. So you're getting that last little strip of algae there. Ooh, he's getting his tires in the water there. Getting his wheels wet. Is this a new one? Right in front of La Playa. Is this 227? Nice, nice, nice. 227. Marcus says he's hoping we get up to 300 nests. I think we're going to get over 300 nests. We're already at 227. Very cool. Got 10 days left in this month. Got another good month and a half of crawling. Then it'll start winding down. Sea turtles were not messing around this season. I think we got another one right here. My gosh, two twenty eight. Two twenty eight. <laughs> Holy. Those girls deserve some stars. Those girls deserve some Facebook stars, huh? For all their efforts. That is incredible. Wow. Wow, wow. No way. No blasted way. Two twenty nine. Two twenty nine. <laughs> that is a blasted miracle. Wow. Poor Marcus. I, he's got some help. I don't know if he's got a volunteer helping him, but he got somebody to help. <laughs> he's got his hands full. Woo! 229. Remember I said that? Eh, 230. I think we're going to surpass 230 just on this section of the beach. <laughs> They're making up for lost time.
thing it takes is sea turtles about 30 days to go out in the water and do their thing and come back up onto the beach. So, 30 days ago, they were must have been having quite a party out there. They can lay a batch of eggs several times throughout a nesting season if they get started early. That's awesome news, awesome news. Thanks for the stars, by the way. Wish I could share them with our sea turtle ladies. Did you see that rehabilitated loggerhead they released at Del Norwigans yesterday? That was kind of cool. That was actually a joint effort between the Conservancy and Zoo Miami. Zoo Miami actually rehabilitated the turtle and brought it back here and released it. The Conservancy does awesome, awesome things. If you're not familiar with the Conservancy, just Google Conservancy of Southwest Florida. Check out all of the great work they do. They can always use money, like all 501 C3s, 3Cs, C3s, nonprofits. If you want to make a little contribution, they would definitely appreciate it. If you got some spare time on a volunteer, they can use help as well. Here he comes again. The algae scrubber. <laughs> It's a long walk this morning. I did a quick little sound check this morning, a little video, live feed. I was way down in, on the beach in Pelican Bay. I can never remember the name of the restaurant there, Marker 34, Marker 36, Marker something. Marker this, Marker that. It's about halfway down to Clam Pass from Vanderbilt Beach. Again, later you're going to want to watch my first look video. I had a feeling it was going to be a busy, busy day for sea turtles here. I had a feeling it was a busy night. Just from what I saw down there when I first got out to the beach. I see his cart now. I don't know if he's checking a nest up there or heading back. Marcus, our sea turtle man. I think he might be on his way back down. So we've seen three new nests so far this morning. Let's see. Four. We saw 26, 27, 28. 29s. We saw four. That's awesome. 226, 227, 228, and 229. A record breaking number for this beach. Record breaking for this time. Kind of like our tropical weather. <laughs> Hopefully that's not a record breaker. Uh, this looks like an older one here. You can still see tracks in there. It's a new one. I thought it was an older one. 230. There it is. 230. Number 230. Those tracks weren't 
is noticeable here, but the digging, the spray and everything, well, they call that spray, the sand, the loose sand that they fill in their nest with. Spray, you look for spray. And that's usually a good sign that they have a nest. Number 230. Right out in front of Walton Daisy's house. <laughs> sweet. Sweet, sweet. I'm guessing there's another one up here. Looks like Marcus is parked up here. So it must have been a slow day yesterday. Didn't make it out yesterday. You know, it was a noisy helicopter. Screaming up behind me. They check, they fly up and down the coast every morning. Surveilling, snooping, they're probably just snooping on me. Yeah, good luck. Good luck getting any dirt on me. It's all on the internet. A few people on here this morning that's nice welcome welcome to our newcomers hope to see you again join our southwest florida television beach family group on facebook send some stars if you enjoy what you're seeing here i get a penny for each star that you send i'm out here doing the walking for you doing a lot of walking this morning so you're gonna see you later today yeah it looks like he's got another good one up here Let's see the yellow flashing lights on our turtle patrol buggy that little condo building gets its share of nest by it there. Wow. There was a false crawl here, I think. See a nest up here. Shooting up and almost came back in the same spot. Turned around right there. That is just an amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Busy, huh? Man, oh man. That was a false one. So I'll check on the old ones. He was just doing some paperwork. That was a false crawl. Big U-turn there.
Let's see if we see any more corals. Up to 2.30 now. Wow. Almost up to Wiggins. Almost off of Vanderbilt Beach. I mean, to the north end of Vanderbilt. Five confirmed nests so far this morning. Remember, he has to, he goes up to Wiggins, then he'll turn around and go all the way down to Clam Pass. So, so far, five confirmed nests between the south end of Vanderbilt Beach and Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. Could there be another one up here? Kind of fun, huh? Seeing all this sea turtle activity. Let's respect our sea turtles, respect their nests, especially their nests. Stay away from their nests. You know, I probably get a little closer than I should to them when I'm taking my pictures, but I'm very careful just to not encroach beyond those ribbons. If you're one of those lucky folks that gets to see a sea turtle on the beach, man, I envy you. But please keep your distance. If, don't use any lights or flashes on your cameras. Use your zoom. Stay away. Don't walk up on them, whatever you do. The mamas, the hatchlings, we're about maybe a week, a little more than a week, maybe a week away from maybe our first emergings here. here comes that helicopter back. That rake obviously hasn't made it up here to pick up that red drift algae. We got another crawl up here for he's checking on an existing nest. Sometimes they're freshen up the caution tape. Well, I see some I see some tracks going up there. Could be a false. We will find out sooner than later. On our way back down, we'll check. Oh, another one. Or is this one? This could be a good one. We put a stake in it. Yeah. False, I think that's a false one. I think what he does is he goes out real quick in the morning, marks them so that tractor doesn't run over them. Gosh, a lot of incredible amount of crawls. We're kind of at a not quite a two to one. There's not quite the same number of false crawls as, or, at, or twice as many false crawls, almost twice as many false crawls as positive crawls.
Oh. Getting tired. Getting tired. Be interesting to see how many steps and miles I put in this morning. Hey, if you appreciate my efforts, tips, always welcome, hugely appreciated. Already coming up on the to the end of another month here. I could not be out here without your generosity, without your support. Keep that in mind. I'm not getting rich out here. Whatever, whatever, if you'd like to send a little tip, you can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post. No amount is too small or too big. You can also find me on Venmo and Apple Pay. I love coming out here. I'd rather be out here walking the beach with my beach family, sharing my experiences with you and what little knowledge I have of things. And when I say little, I mean little. It's an older nest, but it still looks pretty darn fresh. Or actually, you know what? This is going to, you know what? That's going to be a new nest over there. This is an older nest, 203. You see this crawl? You see this? This could very well be a new one right here. See how you got that spray? She came right over to the corner of this other nest. It could very well be this, nah, 203. No, that's too recent. I was going to say the same turtle, but no, if that nest was like number 20 or something. It could be the same mama. You know what's really cool about these sea turtles is they come back to the same beaches where they were born to nest. But there might be a new one there. I don't know. I have to wait and see. See on my way back. Busy, busy night for our ladies. Mariah Bay. Well, these guys are working. I forget the name of these condos. I know we have some friends that reside here in the winter time. These two condos, and they are cleaning up the landscaping here. They are finally working on the landscape, and that's usually, you know, they work on the interiors, get the plumbing and electric back up online. Now they're working on cleaning up all the landscaping. So there's some good news for y'all. I don't know the names of these buildings. I really don't care. <laughs> it's like they're buildings. I'm not a huge fan of the condos anyway. But there you go. Everybody know what's going on here. Years, years and years of cleanup work to still be done from Hurricane Ian. And now we're entering into what's looking like another active hurricane season, potentially active, keeping our fingers crossed. We already had our first little shake up with Brett there. Thank goodness Brett fizzled out on us, or is fizzling out. It's, de it's developing right now, getting a little stronger, but it's not going to, they don't expect to turn it into a hurricane now, they expect it to weaken. I don't know about that one. Just amazing. I lost track. I lost track. I have no idea how many crawls we have seen on the beach this morning. I 
wish the county would let me do a video with Marcus one day. Work on a little turtle nest video project. That'd be fun. Just something to educate everybody about our sea turtles. Get some of that footage from FWC of hatchings and stuff like that. And a lot of people just don't understand what's going on here. They see all these stakes with the caution tape. They're like, oh, turtles. It's a big deal here in southwest all of Florida, all of the coastline, North Sea turtles. Now, the loggerheads are protected, but they're not endangered like the Kemp's Ridley sea turtles. That's our most endangered sea turtle down here, the Kemp's. Man. You very rarely see them. We also have hawksbills, green sea turtles. Also, um, leatherbacks, but I don't think we've ever, I've never seen a leatherback around here. All right. Well, it has been one heck of an exciting walk up here this morning. There's Wiggins. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. It was awesome. Absolutely awesome. I'm going to take a little break. Whew. I'm tired. Go get a drink of water. Check my messages. Yeah, I got a few stars. I get a penny for each star, so I got 500 stars there. That's five dollars. If you appreciate what I do and would like to send some stars, thank you on Facebook. Tips even better right now. Like I said earlier, you can find a link to my PayPal in the description of this post. You can also find me on Venmo and Apple Pay. I hope I don't get rained on on my way back down the beach. Tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Hit that share button. Share, share, share. Help spread the word. This morning's walk was great. Check back later for my first look. That should be a good little video when I get it cut together. Remember, this evening's going to be our sunset cruise with Boat Naples. Hopefully that'll happen. Hopefully we won't get rained out. Tune into that. I'd love to see you on one of those one of these days. Thursday evenings, now through October 26th. Special little deal for our sunset cruise on Thursday evening. With me on board, get to be a part of our live feed. Complimentary beer, wine, and water. Hey, hey. What more can one ask for? All right, my friends. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong. Hopefully I'll see you. In 10 minutes or so, 15 minutes. Tally ho, everyone. Tally ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.